In this video, we'll learn how to make predictions using an earned value analysis. So what you're seeing here uh, was our previous example where we did a full earned value analysis problem from start to finish. Uh, if you would like to go back and watch how we got to this point, uh, you can follow this link here and it will take you back to that video and you can see the entire problem from start to finish. But if you do recall from that video or if you just walked, went back and watched it right now, uh, we figured out based on our cost performance index and cost variance that this project was over budget because this the, the CPI is less than one and the CV is negative. Both of those things say exactly the same thing. They told us that this project was over budget. Uh, we also were able to find out uh, based on our schedule performance index because this is less than one and our schedule variance is negative, it's less than zero. Both of these tell us exactly the same thing. They tell us that our project was behind schedule. So that was the summary. That was what we learned in the last video. Now in this video, it's uh, what we're doing is we're learning to make predictions using these numbers uh, from the earned value analysis. Uh, and what we will be specifically learning is how to estimate the budget at completion and the estimated project duration. So I'll just write them down here for you. So we have our estimated budget at completion. Is All it is is just the planned budget at completion over the CPI. It's really simple stuff. Uh, we also have the estimated project duration equals planned duration over the SPI. So first of all, if we want to solve this, we need to know what the planned budget at completion is. So if we go back up to our table of dependencies here, um, we can see that we had uh, one, two, three, four, five. We have five activities and we know the total cost of each activity. So we expect the total project cost just to be the sum of all of the completed activity costs. So if we just add up all of these 600 plus 1200 plus 1200 plus 400 plus 300, uh, we will get a total, uh, we'll get a total cost of $3,700. Okay, $3,700. That's the, pro the total project cost. So all we need to do then is we just come down here. We have 3700 and we will divide this by our CPI for the project to date. So we find CPI, so we'll be over 0 0.889. And if you just do that, we have 3700 divided by 0 0.889. That's going to give us an estimated budget at completion of the project. Uh, this will be $4,161.98. So uh, we already know at this point when we are looking at at our project uh, at the end of day seven at when our progress report came in uh, we know that based on our cpi and our cv that we are currently over budget so if we continue on this path we'll end up having the whole project cost forty one hundred dollars uh, which is more than thirty seven hundred so we uh, we definitely will be uh, finishing if we keep at this rate we'll be finishing the project over budget so the next thing to look at is the estimated project duration. Uh, well, we just need the planned duration over the SPI. So the planned duration we can figure out by doing a PDM network diagram, or we can also use a Gantt chart. Uh, so we're seeing here that our, uh, where our planned duration is to be 10 days, right? If everything goes as planned, we'll be at 10 days, but it looks like something might happen that we're, we might not be hitting that. So anyways, planned duration, all we do here, let's go down a little further. We just have 10 divided by our SPI, and our SPI was 0 0.8. So if you just get 10 divided by 0 0.8, that is actually 12.5 days. So that is our estimated project duration. We And again, this makes sense because uh, from our earned value analysis, we learned that our SPI was less than 1. So that told us that we are behind schedule. Uh, and we were behind schedule at the end of the seventh day. So if we continued on that track, um, then we would expect the entire project to be behind schedule. And this is saying exactly that. We are expecting, if we continue at this rate, that we'll finish the project in 12 and a half days instead of 10.